Okay, so last week I finally did what I said I was going to do and went out and took uh, my car car camping and had a lot of fun. There were some few roadblocks on the way there, but... Uh, and also, sorry, this this was supposed to go up on Friday, not today, but uh, I've been sick, I think. I don't know, I just have like no energy and my nose has been constantly plugged, so it could be just al allergies, but that's beside the point. This should, should have been up on Friday, it wasn't. It's now up on today on Sunday. Without further ado, let's get this intro rolling and uh, let's hit the road. The cyborgs are ready to come with the deadly weapons we carry and slaughter. Watch out! Drive through your hood, find your leader and crew. And an hour and 20 minutes late, the journey begins. Okay, so I just uh, paid for my parking pass and it's like 6.30, I almost said a.m. It's definitely not 6.30 a.m., 6.30 p.m. And uh, when I was paying, it said you have 24 hours from uh, like the time of purchase to be at your campsite. But I just got my ticket and this shit says, you can't see that. Yeah, it says it ends at 10 a.m. So I'm only gonna have like 16 hours at this campsite. Um, I'm probably gonna stay later though than I'm supposed to according based on the ticket because the machine told me I have 24 hours So I'm going to use all of that 24 hours uh, But the campsite is currently I just drove for about an hour and a half uh, campsites 40 minutes away, but only 10 miles So I have a feeling I'll get there a little faster than that, but uh, it is on an unpaved roads So I'll update you guys if anything happens differently or if like, you know, I crash or get stuck somewhere because it's all on paved roads from here on out so wish me luck so the uh, first roadblock comes in the form of a uh, literal roadblock so there's a campsite called Riverside that's nearby it is kind of raining though so I do worry that it will be closed as well which means we're gonna have to unfortunately push this another fucking week which is really annoying because it took me like all day to pack my car um, yeah, I hope that's not doesn't end up being the case, but we're going to go check out this Riverside spot now and uh, hopefully they have open places and is accessible. All right, so we finally made it to the uh, campground and it's uh, dark as fuck here, so not really much to do outside. So I'm really, probably just going to cook dinner and uh, go game inside the car. So let's get dinner cooking. I got nothing special. It's just like beef, like barbecue beef, pork or something like that that I'm just like reheating in my pot and then putting on some buns some chips so well, let's get cooking because it's cold already <laughs> This is kind of how we have everything packed. It's got like plates and such here. This is all like first aid kit and like emergency stuff. So toilet paper, paper towels, first aid kit, shovel, all that garbage. I got cooking and like dry foods over here. So this is like my cookware stuff. I got hamburger buns, Pam. That's the beef we're gonna be cooking. It was in that cooler. And then I got a table, fold up table just in case like the site didn't have one, uh, which it does. So we got Lucky, uh, disinfectant wipes, pancake mix, the lights that are on or around the site. Mm -hmm. It's got a hammock in over there and propane underneath the bowls. And then yeah, everything else is pretty much just, just food. And uh, yeah, we got some more stuff in the trunk, but I'll get to that later. So that was just on the entire time. It says to use a match, but I only have lighters, so hopefully that'll work since that's equal. Alright, here's to hoping I don't uh, fucking blow myself up. Here. Looks like I literally just have to add, add this stuff and then cover it this way. But I'm just gonna finish cooking this again I just gotta heat it up for like six to eight minutes and then while well, occasionally stirring so I'm gonna set a timer on my phone for seven minutes right now and then hopefully hopefully it tastes good all right 
So the meat just finished. So let's get this, uh, probably the easiest sandwich I've ever made to go in. Let's get her going. Ah, fuck. Burn myself just a smidge. All right, how much we got left in there? Almost all of it. <laughs> Sick. All righty. I'm gonna put this back resting on the stove with the lid on it so it cools down a little bit but doesn't get fully cold if I uh, want some more. Don't worry, I did bring trash bags with me. Uh, we always leave the place closer, cleaner than you found it. All right, and just like that. <sighs> Can you name a better camping dinner? I mean, I probably can, but you know, that's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's store-bought, like pre-made, uh, basically meat stuff, but. All right, I'm not gonna let it get cold and I'm gonna stop recording and eat and I'll let y'all know how it was. <clears throat> All right, so I just finished eating dinner. Uh, honestly, it was like a six out of 10, like not, not the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Um, probably wouldn't get it again unless I'm camping like I am like I definitely wouldn't buy it like during like a uh, like if I was throwing a party and I wanted someone wanted like barbecue I'm not buying that shit like <laughs> I don't need to worry about all that um but yeah if I'm ever camping again and have like no idea what to cook absolutely that's like honestly everything you could ask for for like a pulled pork sandwich that's easy again I just put it on the stove for like eight minutes and then it was hot enough and I put it on some bread and ate it with some chips and uh and a soda so um since it's so dark and there's no signal here, I don't really have anything to do. Fucking mosquitoes, Jesus. Um, so I'm just gonna roll up a fat one, smoke that, and then uh, set up my laptop for gaming in the back seat of my car. So I'm gonna go smoke, and then I will start recording again when I'm setting up my uh, my gaming setup, my portable gaming setup, because <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to try that out and all of that. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so it like started raining as I was doing my thing, so I like had to quickly run and throw everything in the car. So, um, it's only 9.30. Okay, so I think everybody's scheduled to leave at 10 a.m. I was gonna like try and stay a little later, but I don't think that's a good idea because the drive like down here, the final, I'd say mile to two miles was very, very sketchy. And if I get stuck, I'm gonna want people around who can help pull me out and really know what they're doing because there's no cell signal down here. So I can't really call for help if there's no one around and I get stuck, like I'm just m fucked. I have to leave my car locked. Hopefully it doesn't get broken into. And then I have to walk until I get signal, which could be miles in these shitty vans that I brought, which wasn't a good idea, I'm now realizing, so I'll definitely be bringing uh, better shoes next time. While it is only 9.30, I think I'm gonna go to bed around 12.30, so that gives me three hours to play either Hogwarts Legacy, Spider-Man, or honestly, whatever I want. Um, I'm gonna go set that up, and I'll talk to you guys once that's set up and I'm in the back. Alrighty, so it's kinda crammed in the front seat, so it took me 45 minutes to set everything up, but uh, here's the setup. Got the laptop here. I'm in the middle seat in the back, kind of just lounging, no shoes. Um, and then in the front seat, I've got the laptop plugged in. You might be like, what the fuck, are you, you have a car charger? Kind of. So this is my fire hazard. Uh, it's got a DC outlet that gives me some AC ports. And then I just have my laptop charger plugged into that. And then my phone charger plugged into the USB-C. Um, so that way I can have my maps and then know if my phone I've been randomly getting like a 5g signal so I've been texting people in that window so I'm just gonna kind of have my maps up so I can see that uh, so I can know when to respond and check my phone and stuff um and then yeah in the back seat I've just got my blankets and my sheets got my air mattress for tonight um, that goes in the back seat and like all of that and then I'm to my left I've got my controller and dr. pepper and I had a moon pie somewhere Oh, excuse me, fuck. Oh, there it is behind me. Right here. Um, then I have more snacks in my trunk that I can uh, go out and get. I have my sh shoes just in the driver's seat because they're covered in like dirt and I don't wanna, I'm gonna be sleeping back here so I kinda don't want um, dirt in like my face and stuff to be breathing that in. So if I get hungry, I have like chips and a Snickers bar and I have a Snickers bar in my cooler and then chips in my trunk, which is also where my cooler is, but you know. So yeah, it's uh, 10.15. I'm gonna probably game for like two hours, 45 minutes. Wake up at like 
and then cook breakfast and I guess get the fuck out of here. Which is a shame, I kind of wanted to chill most of the day, but I don't know, we'll think of something. Um, I might do a time lapse of me gaming and stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna time to shut the lights off and um, kind of relax for tonight. I'm I'm glad I did this. This has been like just very peaceful. Um, honestly, I think it's because I have no signal because I've literally gotten zero notifications from my phone. Other than, like I said, those like small windows. It's kind of creepy because like there's no street lights or anything at all. So when I look out my windows, I just see blackness. I'm uh I'm gonna go game and if shit goes wrong or I get my car gets like attacked by a bear or some crazy shit, I'll let you guys know. Alrighty, as you can see, I've been uh, pretty lounging. Uh, it's now 11:51 a.m. and I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm gonna get ready for bed obviously i'm not sleeping like this i have to set it or you know i have to pump up my air mattress and make my bed and all of that so that's gonna take a probably a long while i'll probably be won't even be in bed until 12 30 so yeah i should stop delaying that and just get this process started because it's gonna be a long one because i gotta basically tear down my whole laptop setup and then pump up the air mattress put bedding on make the bed and then put like my netting set up my fan yeah so i will see i'll pick up again when all of that is done and i'll show you guys the uh final look and then i need to change too so a lot of shit i need to do and not a lot of time <laughs> i mean i guess i like you know i can do it whenever but i'd like to be in bed before 12 30 so we'll see all right, so I'm doing this part in the car because again, it is fucking nailed that by the way. 12.36. Man, I know exactly how long it takes me to do shit sometimes. Loki, the hardest part was uh, getting the bedding on the air mattress because uh, it's twin size bedding and that's definitely not a twin size air mattress. Like it's smaller. So all the bedding on the bed is currently like very big for it. But you know, like kind of looks, kind of looks roomy. I will have to be in the fetal position, but I sleep in the fetal position anyway, so I knew that wasn't going to be an issue. Well, okay, I say I knew that was going to be an issue. We'll see how I feel in the morning, eight hours from now. But yeah, there's really nothing else to show for like the bed setup. Uh, I have this little eight, four inch, or no, eight inch, yeah. It's a four inch desk fan that I'm going to put right about there. Yeah, there and point it at my face. Then I have that bug net so that way I can crack a window and get some fresh air in here. Uh, so I don't stale up the place and get like carbon monoxide, give myself carbon dioxide poisoning or something like that. Again, I'm sure that's not a thing. I know people sleep in their cars all the time, but just to, wherever you can eliminate risks, you should eliminate them. I don't really know what else I'm waiting for. I'm going to freeze out this bed because uh, that is a weighted blanket and it's only 57 degrees outside. So it's not too cold. Again, I'm going to have a fan on me too. So if I do get cold, I'll roll the window up probably. I, I don't know I have extra clothes in here so I'll bundle up but I don't think I'll be uh, getting cold I, I open my window and have two I have the my room fan on and an oscillating fan on when it's like 35 degrees outside so 57 with the cracked window and a car and a weighted blanket with a four inch fan should be no issue I should honestly sleep like a baby tonight I'm very tired I'm gonna get changed use the restroom one last time before bed and then uh, turn the car off and all of that so I'll see you guys once I get like in bed and then I'm asleep and I'll catch y'all in the morning. So smash cut to me and getting in bed. Well, alrighty. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm essentially ready to climb back there. Got my shoes off in the front seat because again, they're covered in kind of like dirt and mud. And I do definitely don't want that in the bed, especially after it's made. So all I gotta do is just climb into bed, set this fan up, move my water over, Turn the car off and crack a door so that way my screens aren't on overnight and then um after that i'll do like turn all the car off after i get like in bed and stuff and then you know we got the uh, empty dr pepper just in case we need it all right windows already cracked right yeah honestly i should just yeah turn the car off now that makes the most sense Damn, I got quiet. Let's get the fuck back there. Uh, my shirt's coming off. Cause I don't need that to sleep. Army crawl through the center. Put this to the side. Oh yeah, we got that like 
nice white noise of just outside. Pull back the weighted blanket. Get the uh, sheet back too. Told y'all I was double layered. <laughs> Front seat. Pull the fan back. This honestly wasn't a bad buy. Target for like four bucks. Oh yeah. Okay. See, like, I don't know how much you can see, but if I sleep at this angle, my head's like basically on the window, but I can move my, the pillow. So if I wanted to straighten my legs out, I totally could. Um. But like I said earlier, I sleep in the field position. Let me just make sure this door is shut. I heard it like budge a little bit. Oh no! That's kind of depressing. I kind of have an idea for that though. So I have this little uh, battery box thing with like a flashlight and all of that. This flashlight's bright as hell by the way. I honestly don't know why I wasn't using this earlier. Um, but it has a little USB port. And this battery is strong enough to jump like 12 cars. So I think it's gonna be okay using a one amp fan all night, 20,000 milliamps. So I think we're gonna be just fine using this. Uh, even if the car doesn't want to start tomorrow, like we should be a-okay to jump that as well as have a good night's sleep. So, I'm going to plug this in, I'm going to climb into bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. Peace! Well, not peace, but, you know, like, I usually say that at the end and smack the lens, but, you know, see you in the morning. Honestly, I kind of slept like a fucking baby. Overslept a little bit because it's now 9.55 and I have to be out of here in two hours and five minutes because it's storming tonight and apparently this whole campsite's about to be flooded. So they're locking the gates at noon, so I need to wake up, cook breakfast, and get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. So yeah, let's get on that. Honestly, my, I might not even put this whole bed away. All right, let's go get uh, cooking and shit. So we can get out of here and not stuck. Alrighty, welcome to the campsite. Uh, this is where we were last night. There's like a little river like right there. I'll go and show you guys in a little bit. But uh, first and foremost, I'm pretty hungry and we need to eat breakfast because we have about an hour and 20 minutes to get out of here. Like they're locking that gate in an hour and 20 minutes. So I like need to bust my ass uh, making this breakfast. So let's go. I like to be out of here before 1120, just so that way they're, they don't come looking for me and making sure I'm out of here and then I'm being rushed so I put peanut butter on my pancakes not a butter I feel like butter is weird like I, I don't know why I just always grew up with peanut butter so butter on pancakes tastes weird to me I know that's like the norm but alrighty so that's what we're going on for breakfast I've got some OJ in the uh, cooler so I'm just gonna put some peanut butter and syrup on it and then uh, go nuts so I'm gonna eat it while it's still hot I'll catch up with you guys as, I, as I'm packing up and everything all right so time to get out of here it's uh, 11.40, got 20 minutes to spare. Uh, breakfast was really good. I have to use the bathroom now, but uh, don't have enough time to do it down here, so I'm gonna get out of here ASAP. Yeah, sorry, it was, like this wasn't like the ideal camping video, cause like I said, the first two spots I wanted to go to were fucking closed. So I got here after sunset, so I kinda wanted to like hang up my hammock and shit, but uh, like I could have done it like there, but I didn't, again, have enough time to really do that, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pack my pack up the cam and get the fuck out of here So if you guys enjoyed this video at all want to see more videos like this in the future Please hit that like button and leave a comment down below um, If you're interested in seeing more from me hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications I upload basically every Monday and Friday and with that being said I need to get home. So I'll see you guys later Peace. Hey.